Hey guys, it's May May, and today we are making something for our Thanksgiving table, which I think is going to be super cute. We're going to be using a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to get started and let you see the products as we go along. First, you need some of these clothespins, because we're going to be making those clothespin magnets that I know everybody has seen before, and I'm going to be using this pretty plaid paper. When I do these clothespin pieces, I like to use 6x6 six six paper, because I think the pattern is smaller, and it looks really good on these guys. So watch this. This is how I do this. I take my favorite glue which for me is art glitter glue, but you might want to use tacky glue or craft glue, whatever you like that's your favorite glue. You could even use sticky tape here, okay? And I put some glue on one side of the clothespin, and then I just put it down onto the paper. I trim it out later. You can take the time to cut strips and all that good stuff if you want to. That's not a problem. But I just sit it on there and let it dry, and I'm going to put another one over here, and then I'm just going to trim them out. Um, if you want to measure these and cut strips, you can certainly do that, but I'm kind of a lazy crafter. You guys know that. So I do this and then cut it out later. So I want to let those dry. So I'm going to put those aside while we keep working. And we'll come back and cut those out in a few minutes. I'm going to be using this magnetic sheet that's already adhesive on the back. Because I'm going to make magnets out of those clothespins. If you have the strip kind, that'll work just fine too. This is just what I have in my stash. So I'm going to use that. Now we're making a treat bag for our Thanksgiving table. And I'm using these little ones here. And let me tell you the size of these so you'll know. These guys are three and a quarter roughly by six and three quarters. A little bit, little bit bigger than that measurement, but I want to use this size because I think it'll be perfect on the table. The idea is to give a treat with some candy or some kind of snack inside, and then we're going to close it with those clothespins, which also become a gift later too. So let's prep the pretties for this bag. You guys know my stamp set called Pumpkinhead that has this pumpkin in it. I'm going to use that set. I'm actually using two of my sets today. That's the first one. And I'm going to use the pumpkin for it. Now, if you have this set, this is a great place to use this. Is on your Thanksgiving table because this pumpkin is super fun. So what I'm going to do is ink it up and stamp it onto this pattern paper. Now, you've seen me do this before. This is nothing new. I've done this in other projects. But see how cute that is on there? And we're going to cut that out to use on our bag. So that'll be one little element on the bag. Now, if you're like me and you're using this VersaFine ink, you need to give it a second to dry. So I'm going to be real careful and not touch it, but be sure that you give it a little bit of time to dry if you can. So I'm going to leave kind of a halo around this, but you don't have to. You could cut this straight out and not worry about having to stay any distance away from the design but I find that it's pretty forgiving when you're using this decorative paper to do this. So this is super easy. Now, if you were making, you know, if you had a table for 16 or 20, you might want to stamp all these and sit down and cut these out while you watch your favorite Christmas movie because that's what I like to do. I'm loving the Christmas movies that are on right now because you know me, I tend to breeze past Thanksgiving and go straight to Christmas. So there's our pumpkin. So I have this orange piece of paper that's going to coordinate with our little treat bag. I've got my VersaFine ink out and this stamp set is my set that is called Just to Say Thanks. And I'll have a link to this below if you want to pick it up. I'm going to use these sentiments together to make a thankful um, sentiment. That's what's so cool about these. You get all of these words in the middle Plus, you get all of these other words to go with it and these little designs. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to use it. I'm going to leave it flipped over so I can get them off quickly. All right. So I have a piece of paper to start with. And I'm just using kind of a big piece that I'm going to cut down. But this way I'll know how much I need to make my sentiment on. So I'm going to start with the word thankful. Just like that. And then I'm just cleaning these off on a little baby wipe next to me. I'm going to use this little line. There's three little lines in the stamp set that are made so you can underline those bigger words or use them for anything you want. I just like to use them to underline. And so I'm just going to put this onto my block and underline the word thankful. This is really hard to do without getting my head in the camera, so I apologize if it does. There we go. I love underlining that. I think it looks so cool. So then we'll put that one back. And now I'm going to use the part that says for you. So thankful for you. I don't think I got that one inked good. Thankful for you over to one side here. This is probably going to be really crooked. I am so off to the side. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the words wonderful and friend. Because how nice will that be on your Thanksgiving table to say thankful for you wonderful, and I'm going to do it at an angle to fill up that section there. Thankful for you, wonderful, and friend. 
I love this set. I think we're going to get a lot of use out of this set. I think you'll be able to use it for all kinds of stuff. Put that word right there. So check that out. Thankful for you, wonderful friend. And then, let me move that aside. Close my ink pad up. Now we can cut this down to fit onto our little treat bag. So I'm just going to get my paper trimmer here and place this in. Now the cool thing is once you've created one of these and you know this is what you want your sentiment to look like, then you can just measure this and cut all your pieces to fit. You know, go ahead and cut these and then you can just start stamping away. So I'm going to cut that there. And then I'm probably going to do a little banner end or something on there, but I know I don't need all of this, so let me cut a little bit of that off. So now we've got our pumpkin, we've got our sentiment, so I'm going to put those aside. And now I'm going to go back to my clothespins. These are dried now, so I can cut these away. And this is just how, like I said, like I like to do them because I like to use my X-Acto knife on them. But if you want to just cut the strips ahead of time, go ahead and do that. But this way, it's just quicker to me to just do this right here. So now that one's there. Look how cute with the plaid. Isn't that precious? So I glued down two, but we're only going to need one. I can use that other one on a different project. And now we're going to ink the edges of this using some Distress Ink. This is my vintage photo ink. And get an ink tool. And I'm just going to come around the edges and just ink this up. And I left my um, clothespin raw, like I didn't paint it or anything. You could paint your clothespins if you wanted them to be orange or if you wanted to be, you know, a fall or a winter color. That would be perfectly fine. I think that these are so cute to give as gifts. Okay, now then, I'm going to go ahead and put the magnet material on the back. So for my magnet material, I am going to cut it ahead of time. So I'm just going to measure this little guy. He is 3 eighths of an inch wide by, if I hold this correctly, it'll be better, by just about three inches long. So I'm going to go about an eighth of an inch shot of three inches. This cuts so easy on the rotary. This is the magnet material and it just cuts like butter. So I cut that to three eighths of an inch and now I'm going to cut it down to almost three inches. So I'll have this little piece to put on to our clothespin back. And this already has adhesive, which is super cool. And it's really thin, which I like too, because that makes it easy to work with. Now I have used the thicker magnet stuff before, and that is perfectly fine to use that. If you think you need to, you can always add a little more adhesive too, if you feel like you might want to add some extra. Not just what comes, you know, not just this magnet strips adhesive, you can always add some glue. So now we have our magnet strip, so it'll be ready to use onto anything that is metal that you can stick on. But that's kind of plain. Let's dial it up. So these buttons are from my friend's store, Gareth, on, G on um, Facebook. His store is called G's Metal Embellishment Emporium, but he also has all these little wooden buttons. And he sent me these in a design theme package, and I have been in love with these buttons and looking for the perfect place to use them, and I think I've found it. Now, he has all different kinds. We're going to use these today. I think I want to use the orange because I'm really on an orange kick with this bag. The green might be pretty too, though. I'm going to stick with the orange. It's my thing today. Okay, but let's say you want to make these as Christmas gifts. He has Christmas stockings in the little wooden buttons. He has snowmen. He's gotten some Santa Claus, some reindeer in. I'm going to link his channel below. Oh, by the way, and how cute would these snowflakes be on these little, mag on these little clothespin uh, magnets? Super cute. I'll link his store for you below so you can go check him out. But we're going to use this little button and this and also some baker's twine or just some twine. This twine I got in a paper pumpkin kit when I was getting paper pumpkin. I'm gonna cut some of this away and we're gonna use it in side of this little button. I think this will be cute. Now, whenever you get these products in, see how that's wrinkled from the container that it came on? It kinda has all those creases. Just take a bone folder and run down it and that'll just kinda straighten it out for you real quick and easy. See how much better that is? So now I'm going to feed this through this button from the back side here so we can tie a bow on the front. I love these buttons so much. I have wanted to use them and wanted to use them and I couldn't think of where. Then I was like, you know what? This would be perfect for those little clothespin magnets. Okay, so pull this guy down. And now I'm just going to tie a knot and then a bow.
And when you're doing these bows, just tie it bigger at first and then just kind of work your way down to the size you want. It makes life a lot easier than trying to cut the perfect amount of your twine. You might waste some of your twine, but it's so much easier to me than trying to get exactly the right amount of twine and work with such small amounts. All right, so I'm gonna cut this away here and here. So we've got our nice little bow tied. He might be a little bit big. Let's make him a little smaller. He's taking up a lot of my leaf and I want my leaf to be the star of the show. So there we go, I'm happier with that one. Yeah, now you can see the leaf better. Now the other thing I like to do, and we'll do this at the end when I get it all put in place, I like to put a little dot of glue on the knot there and that way you know that bow's gonna stay in place. All right, now we need to adhere this little dude either to the front or to the back. I think I'm gonna put it on the front section of this one. That way when a person is using this on their refrigerator or what have you, they can push back here and not knock the little leaf off. So we're just gonna adhere it to there. I'm going to use some of this glue called Kalal Tacky Glue. Garris sells this in his store as well, and I feel like this might be a little bit stronger than my art glitter glue to hold this guy in place. So I'm just putting some of that tacky glue onto the clothespin. Then I'm going to put my leaf in place. That is going to be super cute on there. Then I'm just going to sit this aside and let it dry, and then somebody's going to get a super cute magnet on their gift. Now back to our little gift bag. Now I'm not going to put my treats in it today because I really don't know what's going to go in it, but I'm going to build the bag and show you how it's going to work. The cool thing is we're not going to be stapling this shut or anything. The clothespin is going to hold it shut. So you could build these ahead of time and then fill them later, which will be super cool. So I've got the bag folded and now I'm going to start to build the little decorations on top of the bag. And I have this little piece of ribbon that I've cut away from the um, spool and I dovetailed the end. And this is going to wrap at the top here just to give us a pretty little decorative part there at the bottom. So that's going to be right there. I'm just going to leave it there for so now. So now I'm going to go back to the sentiment and the pumpkin. Remember I told you I would probably do a little banner edge on this on the sentiment? Here's how I do it. I slice up through the middle just like that and then from one corner to the middle and then the other corner to the middle. This makes our little banner piece. You could certainly do this with like a die cut or a die or something like that, but I'm just going to do it that way and give myself this little banner. So now I have my banner ready, my pumpkin ready, my bag ready, and as soon as my clothespin is dry, we can put everything together. Now I decided to take my banner and in the bottom corner, I'm going to glue this little pumpkin down just with some art glitter glue. I get asked about this glue all the time. This is my art glitter glue. I love it. I'll put a link to it below and good news. Soon we will be carrying it in our store. I'm really excited about that. So hang on, it's coming. All right, so here's our clothes pin. And this, we've put our treats inside. We've wrapped our ribbon around. Now our little sentiment is gonna go here on the bag. And here's the fun part, ready for this? You're gonna take your clothes pin magnet and close that little guy down. And look how cute that is. Can you imagine this on your Thanksgiving table? And when the people get through with the treats inside, they can take this little clothespin off and it's a magnet so they can use it in their home to remember Thanksgiving at your house. I love this. I think this is a cute idea. And you could do this on anything. Imagine if you used a clear bag or you could clip this on like a mug full of some candy, maybe on the little bag at the top or something like that. You'll be able to put these on anything. And how fun to get to take that little magnet home for the rest of the year. I love this idea and I love using these wooden buttons for it. I'll bring it up so you guys can see it. It's going to be super cute in pictures too. All right, so there is today's project. Be sure to head over to Gary's store and check out what he offers. He has some really beautiful products, not just wooden things. He's got metal and pendants and stuff for jewelry and for ATCs. You name it, he's got it. There'll be a link to his store below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow for Scripture Art Journaling. Until then, have a great one. Bye-bye.